messy, he's loud, and always a whole lot of fun. Please welcome our science guy, Steve Spangler. Starting over there? Yeah, no, you're gonna be over here I'm with here. me. I'm here. All right, part, I don't, you're I don't know what's shield. going on because I don't run the human shield. Great. <laughs> yeah, so. I don't know what's going on as usual, and uh, I want to see what's happening and learn about it at the same time. Wow, that's like a student in class. This yeah. is perfect, yes, right? All right, so we're learning about clouds. And so I was thinking if you want to make a cloud, you know, the meteorologist talks about high pressure, low pressure, but I wanted to show you things that you can actually relate to. So so here's a soda bottle, so mm -hmm. just a plastic soda bottle, and, and the liquid goes down inside here. And what, what, we're what kind trying of liquid do, is that? Well, we're actually using a mixture of water and some rubbing alcohol because I want it to evaporate really, really quickly, all mm -hmm. right? So here it is sitting here like this, and now what we're going to do is we're going to pressurize it. So mm -hmm. I'm going to take the foot pump, and I'm going to put it like this. Got it? Yep. And now you're going to simulate uh, a meteorologist, and you are going to put some high pressure in. Mm -hmm. Ready? All right, so good. That's good. Okay, 75 more times. Ready? Here we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, 50 more times. Here we go. No, no, no. It's five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. So now, believe it or not, some of that has vaporized, and when I let it go, it's going to go low pressure. Watch this. Amazing. Wow. And, and what so we caused get low it to pressure. do that? Because all the water now condensed inside, and so we went from high pressure to low pressure. This is kind of like on the beach. You know, we've had some rain here locally, mm -hmm. and this is like the fog in the morning. Well, the fog burns off, so watch this. I'm going to put this back inside, and now I just want you to add some pressure. Go ahead and pump it back down again. Look what happens when the higher pressure comes in. Keep going, keep going, keep going. It just vanishes. Wow. So wow. you can actually see it kind of vanish. Is that fun? Yes, And it's then amazing. all of a sudden, uh, high pressure comes through. Bam! And we got it again. That's amazing. Isn't that fun? Pretty cool. I get it now. All right. So, um... So everybody knows that when you do a campfire, you, you take the logs and you kind of stack them up like this so that you can get some air around it. Right. Okay? So I thought I would kind of show you the same thing and relate it this way. I have a spore that's here in here. Put on your safety glasses. A spore? Yeah. This What's is a that? Spore. It's called lycopodium. It's a spore. It comes off of a, of a moss. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to put some of it right here like this. And we're not going to put a lot of oxygen around it. And now, here's what I want you to do. Take this lighter mm -hmm. and light it on fire. Okay. Okay, hold on. Oh, it's fine. It's good. No, it's, a, it's okay. Ready? Right? See, nothing happens at all. No, nothing. Nothing. Because there's not a lot of air around it. Uh, it'd be like taking a whole bunch of logs and just sitting there and trying to put it on fire. Can't but if it. we disperse it in the air like this, you get this fine mist. Uh -huh. So what I want you to do is kind of hold it out there like this. So here, let me move this off to the side. So just kind of hold it out there like this. Good job. So watch this. <laughs> Is that awesome? Wow. Yeah, that is yeah. awesome. So it just shows you the reason that it catches on fire is because there's just oxygen Let's everywhere. Do it again. Uh, please. <laughs> wow. So now here, yeah, I even got this. So watch this device. So I made this for you when you invited me back. So here, watch this. So now the light podium goes inside. And so now this is cool. You light this on fire and then just aim it wherever well, you want to go. This doesn't seem awesome. This seems. <laughs> Wait until you see it. It seems very scary. Okay, so no, it's good. All right. So just squeeze it. Good? Watch this. Wow. <laughs> that awesome? Yeah, very cool. All right, so, you know, you've been kind enough to invite me on it, and I brought uh, liquid nitrogen before. Remember when we had liquid nitrogen and we froze those things? It's fun. 320 degrees below zero. And then I used liquid nitrogen over here, and we made that huge cloud, and mm -hmm. you were in that box so that you didn't get hurt? Yes. That was cool. So, believe it or not, this water that, that you have here, um, they use liquid nitrogen with your water. And nitrogen, most of the air we breathe is nitrogen. Right before they seal this, they drop a couple drops of liquid nitrogen inside, then the machine seals it. And what it does is it expands, and that's why it's hard, uh -huh. like this. And when you open it up, it gives up, right. it's because it takes the oxygen out. Okay. So when I was preparing to come out and see you, I, th I was thinking, if you took liquid nitrogen and you filled like a lot of the bottle, and then you capped it off, that could be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So um, <laughs> come on over here and take mm -hmm. a look at this. I've seen the, so yeah. uh, I've asked Jeff to help us out because he's really good with this liquid nitrogen thing. Hi, so, Jeff. Hello. Jeff, this is Ellen. How Ellen, are you? this is Jeff. Nice to meet you. All right, good. Uh, okay, so now, Jeff, if you'll come over here and take the bottle. So this is the liquid nitrogen. So uh -huh. this is 320 degrees below zero. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some of the liquid nitrogen down inside there. Now, it's boiling, so when you see it go in, you're going to see it boiling off. Uh -huh. All right? So here's our boiling point here. Okay. You doing well? Great. All right. So now it's going down inside there. Again, don't yeah. don't try this at home. All Wait, right. They're telling me to put something on that. No, I, I have it for you. Uh, your safety glasses are good, but there's everyone, a little thing that's right over here. Everyone depends on me here. here, Steve. Oh, that's good. Here, I would do this as well. This is a safety shield. All right. These are thought protectors. So here, you just put the safety shield on like uh, this. Uh huh. 
Okay, good. Now I'm gonna put that down. Uh -huh. It's kind of like if you were welding or something Not like really. that. Uh -huh. All right, good. Yeah. All right, so now these go on just to kind of protect your thoughts. All right. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yep. Jeff, Jeff, do you need a little bit more? That means there? it's gonna be loud for y'all too. They're fine. So, um, <laughs> so, so watch this. So you see the liquid nitrogen kind of boiling off here. Yeah. So then I was also thinking about this. I was thinking if we cap that off and put it inside the barrel, I've never done anything with 4,000 ping pong balls. So here's what I thought we would do is he's gonna cap it off and then we're gonna put the ping pong balls inside. All right? Okay. So Jeff, cap it off. Good, good, good. That goes in there. All right, so here we go. Good. It's expanding right now and so the bottle is getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? That's the best one I've ever done. That's wow. That is good. That's fun. We'll be back. That's every single time Steve Spangler's here, this happens. We, every, we have to have everybody clean up after him. And he just takes off, but that was amazing. That was really fun. Steve? All right, so Ellen, this is what we did in our uh, office. We're pouring the liquid nitrogen in here, and, and I mentioned it because the, well, the police actually came out a little bit. Um, because they thought that maybe shots had been fired. The liquid nitrogen is a liquid, most of the air that we breathe is nitrogen, so it goes down inside here, but it expands 700 times its normal size. So here's the liquid nitrogen here. Now Jeff's gonna cap it off, and it goes into the barrel that you see here. And so now this goes in, and we thought we'd just kinda put this over the top. So this goes over the top, and now the liquid nitrogen's getting bigger and bigger, and that bottle is expanding, and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, until finally you get this pressure that starts to release. It's the same thing that we used to use as steam engine you know years ago or on a propane tank there's a pressure release valve but it's, you can actually hear it inside so, so so that's what happens you just gotta release the pressure is that awesome back to you Ellen